The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Nevada, Ms. Lee, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today as this week marks 300 days since we signed the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act into law. But we didn't stop there. We've accomplished so much more in the last 100 days. For years, Washington has been all talk, no action when it comes to infrastructure. Congress after Congress, president after president, all promised to finally tackle our nation's crumbling infrastructure. But this Congress finally delivered, and delivered with bipartisan support. It was truly a historic moment, but in the 300 days since it was signed into law, on this very floor, amidst all the noise and divisiveness, this Congress has continued to make history. The Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, the most significant gun violence legislation in nearly 30 years, now law. The PACT Act to provide generations of veterans and their families the care and benefits they've earned and deserved, now law. The Chips and Science Act, which will allow us to compete with China, boost our supply chains and American innovation, and bring jobs back to America, now law. And the Inflation Reduction Act, the biggest step our country has taken to tackle climate change while also delivering lower prices pr for prescription drugs and expanded access to affordable health care. This too, now law. Nevada was ground zero for the economic devastation of this pandemic. Nevada is also ground zero for the most urgent effects of climate change, but Nevada also stands to gain the most from the Inflation Reduction Act. A record 14.5 million people and more than 100,000 Nevadans have signed up for coverage through the ACA marketplace. Now, that coverage will be even more affordable with the expanded tax credits in the Inflation Reduction Act. Medicare can finally negotiate lower drug prices, which means savings for our seniors and every single taxpayer. And not only that, the Inflation Reduction Act caps out-of-pocket costs for Part D drugs and insulin for seniors and individuals with disabilities on Medicare. All of this means better, more accessible health care and more money in Nevadans' pockets. But I'm also incredibly proud that this bill will tackle, tackle our climate crisis and stand up for Nevada's future. The West is facing the worst drought in 12 centuries, and in my district, the dire situation at Lake Mead is making headlines all over the world. But this bill will help mitigate the harmful effects of our drought by funding environmental restoration projects and investing in conservation projects to increase water levels in the Colorado River. And it's going to take all of us to fight the climate crisis. And this bill supports Nevadans on the ground in their effort to save energy and save money all along the way. You need to replace a stove or a refrigerator you need to install solar panels or perhaps buy an electric vehicle, this bill will help you with direct rebates to buy more energy efficient options. Overall, Nevada families that take advantage of the clean energy tax credits could save more than $20,000 in a single year. All of this is fully paid for by cuts to our, our deficit by $300 billion by finally making the ultra-wealthy and big corporations finally begin to pay their fair share. And let me be clear, not one person earning less than $400,000 a year will pay a penny more in federal taxes. So a lot can happen in just 300 days, from infrastructure to gun violence prevention to helping our veterans and building a stronger American economy. But the Inflation Reduction Act is perhaps the biggest achievement of this Congress, and House Democrats delivered it alone. Not one Republican voted to lower the cost of prescription drugs and insulin. Not one Republican voter voted to lower health care costs. Not one Republican voted for a fairer tax system. Not one Republican voted to put people over their politics. 
The fight continues and House Democrats will do everything in our power to deliver the results and put America people first. And with that, I yield the balance of my time.